And it was just the third day in office for one Texas congresswoman caught up in yesterday's chaos. All new at 10 o'clock, Andrea Lucia spoke with her and other lawmakers about the moment violence arrived at their workplace. You know, it's uh, it's baptism by fire. Three days after taking office, newly elected Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne witnessed the chaos at the Capitol. It's, you know, being barricaded in my office, um, being here for three days, and you know, our third day is spent all locked up in a room with furniture up against your door because you don't know if somebody's going to, you know, try to break in or not. One day later, U.S. lawmakers, both Republican and Democrat, representing districts across the DFW area, have denounced the violence. It was an angry mob, an angry, violent mob. What they don't agree on is whether the president is complicit. On Twitter, Democratic Representative Mark Vesey called on the vice president to invoke the 25th Amendment and remove President Trump from office, calling him an absolute threat to our democracy who must be restrained immediately. I was disappointed with his rhetoric and his response uh, to, to the riots. Representative Ann Taylor joined other Republicans in criticizing the president, but not supporting his removal. I, I think there's no need to go through that. It will not matter at the end. It is more political theater. I, I understand that they really hate Donald Trump. He will be leaving office in 13 days. Senator Ted Cruz has also faced calls to resign for objecting to the certification of election results, but made clear in an interview with KTRK TV in Houston, he has no plans to do so. And no one should be surprised to see, see Democrats playing politics. There has been a bipartisan call for better security. Representative Van Dyne says she wants to know how the Capitol was breached, why it wasn't better prepared, and how this will be avoided in the future. And Representative Kate Granger has promised there will be congressional hearings on this. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.